Well, uh, good evening, everybody. This is JD79, and I'm going to be right now just tracking this. Um, right now, we're tracking this um, Hurricane Earl, and um, right now it's 140 miles per hour, and um, it's right now moving north northwest um, towards North Carolina. But right now, um, Basically, um, like the North Shore, and it's under a, a, a hurricane watch, no, excuse me, a, a tropical storm watch right now. So, um, basically, I'm right near in within 128 of uh, Massachusetts, and um, As you can see, it's going to be moving, uh, uh, moving towards the northwest. Now we're, we're going to have to pay attention to see where um, it's going to be making, like, making landfall here. Yeah, it's like, eee. <laughs> Now we're certainly probably going to have tropical storm force winds, like a 30 to 40 percent chance of it, and um, yeah, it's so scary here. <laughs> okay, that's um, Fiona. I think Fiona's going to be care over here, but basically, um, we have to pay attention to hur hurricane wind probability. It's like five or ten percent, and maybe in Boston, Massachusetts, maybe, ho maybe hopefully there could be gusts instead of um, uh, sustained here. Hopefully my house would not get damaged or anything like that, but uh, not trusting of an eastern um, seaboard now. Let's try a winter underground sea. Um, tropical hurricane. Now this is um, Earl, and we have the tracking map right now. Now it looks like it's going to be a Category Two storm, um, and maybe hopefully, the, because actually, because right now it's actually a Category Four, and hopefully it would weaken down to a weak Category Three, and uh, steer it off towards uh, Massachusetts. Because uh, by the way, um. The good news is that if I'm in the western part, because um, in my area, in my area, we have a lot of rain, but very little winds. And um, the reason why we have um, and and you know, and you know, the, and you know, the reason why I'm worried about the wind is because oh, it's going to damage my house anyway. I'm not worried too concerned about the flooding because I live in a high um, end area. And um, certainly, I feel for you guys with about the Cape, and um, just please, from the Cape, just heed the warnings. And um, these are the computer models right now. Looks like every computer model is taking it towards um, the east. And actually, actually, hopefully, um, there's like one computer model making landfall, but it could be. Uh, but right now, it's going to be here. And uh, Landfall um, towards Connecticut, but right now a lot of uh, computer models are just keeping out the shore. I know you guys can't see it perfectly, but, but um, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on.
Oh, it won't, it won't let me zoom in? Oh, come on, man. Stupid piece of crap. But hopefully, um, it's going to be passing by maybe to the east of us. And um, I was getting ready to go to King Richard's Fair this um, Saturday, but I don't know what, um, seeing what going to be happening because the King, um, because therefore they could be having some high winds there. Um, but I think the latest, I, I think the latest um, on Friday could be, we might see like 40 or 50 mile power gusts where, where I'm going to be living here, but um, I might just shoot some videos and see what it looks like outside. Um, but we're, but, we're going to get a lot of rain here. Yeah, once again, um, it's going to be going to the Cape and the islands and stuff, because basically where I live, um, west of the, west of the hurricanes is, um, where I'm going to be, there's a assemble models and stuff like that. Yeah, it's still keeping it off the Cape and the islands, which hopefully will be true here. Yeah, I already been through the computer models. APM Friday, which is going to be uh, like uh, tomorrow here. Um, right now, it brings it out on, on the Cape Cod and the islands, and uh, hopefully. Um, <laughs> that'll be the case here. Small intensity. Okay, by the time tomorrow, it's going to be like, um... There, but... This is, uh, probably the latest information right now. I'm not a, um, weather forecast anyway. I'm not a weather man, anything, but... Basically, um... For those of you along the Cape, right now, just... Please heed the warnings and stuff, and just hope for the best, and um, hope for you guys for the best, um, and what I'm going to be doing here, and um, hope you guys prepare North Carolina for this, but, and um, let's see how things pan out tomorrow evening, um, no, excuse me, Friday evening. Um, I think I might lose power, but we'll just keep it up to date on what's happening towards my area. And um, I just want to give a little tracks of Hurricane Earl. And um, WBZ is actually being more friendly here. Um, but other computer models are disagreeing with WBC, say it's going to be a stronger storm, but we're going to keep in tune here. Yeah, it's a seven day forecast. Um, here's Earl um, and Friday here, but that's what I have to say. And um, JDL, see you later.